Welcome back to the Masters of Arabia tournament. Right now we have Amino English going up against SS Bruno. Amino English playing in blue, SS Bruno playing in red. Both players getting a side of the map here. We have Amino English playing on the right side and we have SS Bruno on the left side. Good play by both players in the starting matchup, which was a Huns War for those who don't know. We're currently in the second game, which means we're going to see an Aztec War for anyone who doesn't actually watch this series through. And quite a few sheep there for Bruno actually, lucking out getting all them together. So from the first game, I have said that I'm going to spoil the result of the first one every second game, so make sure you watch the first one first. So in the first one, we did see some great play from Bruno, predicting his opponent's move, getting out that cavalry. However, he could just not hold off. The towers went up, his lumber camp was shut down. And he didn't really have much of a choice. He was too holed into his base, had access to no gold, and really couldn't do too much. So he was forced to give up the game there. But we may see a comeback from him in this game, because it was actually quite close. The only reason he seemed to lose it was because Mino English went forward so fast and so hard, and just put on as much pressure as he possibly could. And what do we have now? Let's check the scouting. Mino English finding two of his balls in the same place, and two sheep. Definitely winning the jackpot there. Looks like he's got... Four sheep there. Looks like he's found all his sheep. And he's found his gold mine. Berries are all good. Looks like he's found his stone. And he's running down to find his opponent now. Let's see how long it takes to find him. And running straight opposite again. For those who don't know... Well, you must have watched the first game by now. Otherwise, I've spoiled it for you. Um, both players were pretty much 20 seconds, 10 seconds away from each other in the last game. So it was quite hard. And there we go. Bruno finding... Being found there really, really quickly, actually. And we can see that he's got a lot on wood at the moment, so generally we can expect to see that racks come up. We've got a sheep down over there, obviously sheep scouting, however forgetting about it. We do see the villager there luring that boar in without too much trouble. Do we have a boar? Boar lure here, not so good. Just outside the town centre, not bad. He didn't lose a villager on it, so it's not horrible, but could always pay to move it in that little bit less. And I kind of burp talked there, I'm very sorry for that. And Wild Boar still getting picked off by both players, quite easy. And we can see these sheep now returning. If Mino English return, like, f just gets in the middle of these sheep and just stops them from getting in the town center. That's just going to be really annoying. Here we go, second boar lure is coming in, and this one looks like it could be a bit nice. However, he goes into the town strainer straight away. No, and luring it back there might not... Still, again, not a great lure, but it will do, if you know what I mean. Like, they're not under the town center, so they've still got that small drop-off time. They have to walk around instead of just standing up and sitting back down. But, you know, it's not too bad, and some idle villagers there. But, you know, there's, there's other things to think about in this. Whether or not we are going to see the racks come up nice and early, I can't really tell. We do have both boars in for both players now, so there's going to be no boar steal. And we can see the stone mines, they're not bad. We've got the gold over here, much better than Bruno's original gold positioning, which was pretty shocking. Anyway, let's check out the scouting. We've got Mino English pretty much scouting out most of the map here. Knows where his opponent is, knows his way to his opponent. He's pretty much set. He knows where his opponent's main gold is. And I guess he knows his main berries are in that area there, because there's nowhere else they can really be. Bruno, what have you found? You found everything you need to survive with. You found his opponent's gold mine here, found his berries, haven't found his found his main gold mine there. Haven't found his lumber camp yet, so you have two, well, a few options. He could be here, over in the back somewhere, or it could be on this one over here. So Bruno really needs to find out that information ASAP, because it generally helps in putting out your units. You can generally tell there. And then we've got a villager going forward. And this Eagle Warrior could do a bit of damage, especially if they're caught in one-on-one -on -one like this. We see that we do have this villager here coming down, and hopefully he'll, they'll be able to take out this Eagle Warrior. Looks like this villager should be able... I can't select that other villager. There we go. It's going to be a close fight, and Eagle Warrior choosing to run off very, very close there. We do see the Militia in through there, and it looks like Bruno lost one Militia there. All his villagers here aren't doing anything. There's one militia there. And it looks like he lost one militia and chose to resign out. So if there's a full story behind this, I'd be happy to hear it from either players. I just post it in the comments. However, everything that really happened up here, I saw an eagle warrior fight. I saw two lodges move over here. Kill this militia villager off here, and then, yeah. So, anyway, good play by Mino English, who's secured his place in the second round. Hopefully, I won't be up against him. I actually haven't checked the brackets yet for my next round. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next game.